We're now going to discuss some MATLAB commands that we can use in, when we're working in the state space domain. We saw with MATLAB we can use a lot of commands in the frequency domain to represent our transfer function. Uh, specifically, we use things like TF, and then we would specify a numerator and a denominator. And this might be a second order system. And using this command, we could then say, all right, let's call the step command. And I'll pass that into, uh, let's pass g into that function. And the re result would be a plot of the step response of that system. We could use our locus uh, for that, that system, and we would get the root locus of that particular transfer function. We could use Bode and get the Bode response for that system. We also could use RL tool or SISO tool. Um, we, we saw different ways to add systems together. But obviously we would want to be able to use commands like this but for a state space representation. So uh, the first and easiest way to uh, and the clear way to think about how to represent a state space system is to first define your um, state space uh, state matrix. So we're going to use 0, 1 and then minus 1, minus 4, and that's going to represent the, uh, the same system that we have up there in G, as we'll see in class. The B matrix, oops, oh, sorry, I forgot to make that a square matrix. Uh, and then the, the B matrix here would just be 0, 1, and C will be, say, measuring position, and then the D matrix will just be 0. And now we can say, uh, define a sys using the ss command, which stands for state space. And we pass in a, b, c, and d. And we now have a continuous time state space model. And um, I can now use the step command here. So if I type step sys, whoop, I didn't mean that. Then we see we get the same step response as if we would have run the step command for g. If I go back to this figure, I can see those two traces are right on top of each other. So the once I have this ss object, I can call any command that I would have used uh, in the frequency domain, and I can get the same kinds of, of plots. And the reason for this is because there's a relationship, obviously, between the state space representation and the frequency domain representation. And there's actually a set of commands that will allow you to convert between the two. So we now have, we have A, B, C, and D, and we have G. The, the, three, the, the four parts that represent the state space domain and then the transfer function itself. We can now run the command, say A, B, C, D equals TF2SS. So you read that as convert transfer function to state space, and you pass in the numerator and the denominator of the uh, frequency domain transfer function, and there's the A, B, C, D. And I can go back the other way and get the numerator and the denominator if I use the SS2TF command and pass it A, B, C, and D. And there's the numerator and the denominator, which define that transfer function. So we're going to see in class exactly how these two domains are related. Uh, and it really is just through the Laplace, uh, Laplace transform. And it's all about how we're representing the system of differential equations.